Papa scanned that code? And just <laughs> like that, the samosa was paid for? Ooh. I've seen these weird square codes everywhere. Turns out, it's called a QR code. Short for quick response code. QR code is like a super packed digital sticker. When you scan it, your phone reads all the info inside, like a website link, a payment address, or a menu card. You can even scan it to make a payment anytime. Here's how it works. Step one, scan the QR code with your UPI app. It reads the shopkeeper's UPI ID, like their digital address. Step two, then you select your bank account and enter your unique PIN. Your app checks with your bank. Does me have enough money for this samosa? Step three, if yes, the app sends the money using UPI, which moves money instantly between banks. Step four, the shopkeeper's bank says, payment received. You hear the ding and boom, samosa is yours. But here's what the folks at IDFC First Bank told me. You gotta be smart when using UPI. Check the banking name after you scan. If it doesn't say Samosa Corner and says Rahul's phone, pause. Double check the amount before tapping pay. If your Samosa is for 20 rupees, make sure you've not typed 200 by mistake. <laughs> Never trust a QR that opens a strange link or website. In case of doubts, always ask your parents. Thanks to IDFC First Bank for teaching me how it all works. Curious about how other payments work? Explore the IDFC First Academy website. They make it super clear with short free lessons that are fun to watch and easy enough for any kid to understand. 